Talking to Charlton manager Russell Slade ahead of Saturday's opening home league game against Northampton, Russell, Charlton have suffered two defeats in two games. How far away are you from moulding the side into what you are demanding? Um, process. It will take. Um, it will take time. As anything that you're building, do you know it takes um, takes almost two years to build a Rolls Royce. It takes about five months to build a Nissan. <laughs> Thanks. I think I get your point. <laughs> so, Charlton, very much a work in progress. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, we're working exceptionally hard to bring one or two extra bodies in. Um, we've made that public. So that's what we want to do. We're on the verge of something um, quite exciting at the minute in terms of um, making a couple of additions we've been patient for. It's, it's, um, it's not our way to go scattergun approach. We've just stayed patient to get the right ones, the right fits that we think over time will prove essential and obviously assets to the football club. Um, and we think we've uh, we're getting close to um, getting that. You just answered my next question. Uh, how close are you to getting the players in that you need now? Um, I tell you what, we couldn't be any closer because um, they're both doing medicals. Like last week, you can't say who they are. No, no. I, I, obviously, I don't want that out because it, it, it's not hundred percent done yet, but. Um, that tells you how close they are, the fact that they're in the building. It's Charlton's first home game since relegation. Um, what kind of reaction are you expecting from supporters? Uh, it's a huge game for us. Um, we're well aware of that as, as a team. We want to do well in front of our own fans. We want, it to be, we want it to be a special place. We want it to be a difficult place for the opposition to come. Um, we, we, we want it to be. We want it to be loud. We want it to be aggressive. Um, to, to, to be to, to be a difficult place for other teams to come and think, wow, you know, they don't want to be coming there every single week. And um, and the fact that you know it, it's um, hostile enough to to to, to come there and, uh, and and to try and pick up points. And we want to make it a fortress. Last season, I lost two home games. Um, and and it's that sort of record that you need at home if you're going to be successful and um, that's what we'll be looking for this season. You obviously believe the best way to win over dissenting supporters is to win football matches. Yeah, no, 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 to totally we have to do that and clearly we haven't done that yet. Um, I thought there were more positive signs Tuesday but um, also you need to understand that we were brave enough and bold enough to um, give debuts to two 18-year-olds on Tuesday. Um, and I'm not sure the last time that happened at Charlton Athletic, two 18-year-olds making the debut on the same evening. But I was thrilled for those two. I was really pleased because they spent a lot of pre-season with us and they've deserved their opportunity. And, um, you know, they put in... Um, they put in good performances, so that that was a positive from my point of view on Tuesday. Um, we created opportunities on Tuesday, more opportunities than what we'd done in previous games. What we didn't do is um, we snatched at them and we didn't hit the target or work the goalkeeper often enough. And, and, and my last bit is, is and I will, I will keep going on about it because I am going on about it with the players and it's, they've got to value the basics. We've conceded three goals in those two games. Two have come from corners, one comes from a long throw. Well, you know, first phase, second phase, you've got to pick up. If you don't win the first header, you've got to ensure that, you know, you're tight enough to win the second contact or the third contact, and we've not done that. And that's something, actually, we did quite well pre-season because we were drilling it into the team, but we have to go back to the drawing board and insist that that doesn't happen again because that proved costly for the football club last year, conceding 19 from corners and... Um, I don't want that that sort of figure anywhere near come 46 games um, surrounding the team that we're putting out every week. Could we see more debuts against Northampton on Saturday? 
be surprised if we don't. <laughs> I'd be very surprised if there's not a debut or two in the side uh, Saturday. Yeah, um, again, as I say, um, it's, it, 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 look, in a way, it's not got off to a great start, but it is still an exciting time in that we are still putting a team together. We are going to get better. We are going to improve um, as, as the season goes on. And, you know, it's just about, it's about getting those partnerships on the pitch, getting them in there, getting them settled. Um, and we've still not got that yet. Um, and that's that's got to come together because it's a very very important part. Then getting your unit settled, your back four, your midfield, uh, your, your front, your front two or front three, whatever, whatever it may be. And and then as a team, getting all together. And we haven't we haven't we haven't got that yet. We, we, we're trying to sow the seed. We're trying to get that. But obviously, with revolving doors, it's not easy to get. Um, and that comes over a period of time. But. Um, from my point of view, we, we're here busy trying to build a team at the minute. Have we got the team? No, we haven't got the team at the minute. And that's the frustration that you want it there and you want it there like yesterday. But it's not going to be like that. Football's not like that. Rome wasn't built in a day and it takes time to build sometimes. You talked about players coming in. Could there be any departures? Um, I, I, I don't see, look, I don't see any major departures at all now. Um, I think um, I think we have done quite well in terms of what's gone and 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 you know in terms of the four that have gone were, were good players, key players for the football club uh, over a period of time. Um, we've uh, obviously um, got 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 a value on those and and, and got the monies for those, um, and we have move on from that. It's um, it's, it's no good kind of thinking what was before. Um, we have to move on. We have to look forward. And that's what we're attempting to do. Um, and in the process, bring in a few new faces to the football club. Russell Slade, thank you very much. Russell, what, how's the mood been since Tuesday? I mean, was it difficult to get the boys up or was it just... No, 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 no. No, I said one of the key things after the game on 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 Tuesday when I, when I went through it um, was that, you know... The one thing, the one thing I don't want to see, and one thing I don't want to made are excuses, um, because excuses are useless anyway. Um, so I wanted, I said, listen, what we have to do is this is where we're at at the minute. We are going through a period of transition. There are new faces coming in. This is where we're at, and we have to we have to respect where we're at and not think we're better than that or worse than that. That's where we are. It's not, it's, not, it's not a great place, it's not the place we want to be, but uh, accept where we are and let's come in and bounce in on Thursday and, 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 um, and say, look, come on, let's go and make ourselves better as an individual, as a, as a group. Let's be the best version of what we can be every single day and, and that way we will improve and we'll get better. Yeah, and as you mentioned, I mean, there was a couple of chances, I think Nicky would have been probably disappointed that he didn't open his account uh, on Tuesday, uh, is the lack of goals, is that just down to confidence or pressure, is it one of those things? Yeah, 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 look, uh, I, we spoke, and each individual, um, I spoke to each individual after the game, and uh, yeah, he's disappointed that, that he didn't that he didn't get a goal, and um, you know, you would expect that um, on another day, I'm, I'm sure he would, and then he's, he's the, when the one he does pop in, yeah. you know, is unfortunately offside, um, so look, they'll come. They'll come. Yeah. I mean, you, history tells you um, that, that that will come. Yeah. He's done it before. Um, <coughs> and sometimes, you know, it just takes that first goal, doesn't yeah. it? J j just to get going. And I'm sure that um, once he gets out, he'll be on the right track again. Yeah. I think a lot of fans were, again, impressed by Conta at the back, uh, as they have been throughout pre-season. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he's, he's so young, he's so inexperienced, but do you think he can kind of challenge for a regular spot in the side? Oh yeah, yeah, look, look. He's. Um, I've told. Um, I've told Jason this morning that he'd be, he's with me. So, um, as d disappointed as he's lost his his captain, um, we're delighted that you know he's made that progress and he's um, he's bridging that gap. Um, what we need to be mindful of with him is 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 ninety minutes after ninety minutes yeah. at this level, he's completely not used to, and and he'll be finding he'll be finding pain and strains um, where he's never found them before and um, 
that's a process that he's going to have to get used to, that, resi that resilience, the body, physical resilience, um, game in and game out. Obviously, it wasn't just Konzo, I think Hanlan uh, was on the show as well. Uh, yeah. I mean, the club's got a great academy. Uh, how aware of you were you of this academy? Obviously, oh, massively, massively, great. absolutely massively. It's always had a fantastic reputation, and, and Steve has done a, and his team have done a, um, a, a really, really good job over time. And it's something that's not broken. It's something that's really solid at the football club. It gives us a real foundation. And that's why I've been so keen to, when the opportunities have arisen, to take them. And I thought that was, again, an opportunity to give them that experience on Tuesday. And obviously, you've been at a lot of clubs. You've seen a lot of kind of academies, youth structures. Uh, does the one at Cholton kind of... Is it, does it compare with a few other clubs? Is it as good as them uh, in terms of the academy? In terms of do, 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 you know, do, do you know what's the biggest thing I see when I come in? And this is, this is the bigger picture. is, And I've said it before, there's a real heartbeat of players. I, I, see, I see young players walking up the drive from, from 8 in the morning, 7 in the morning, up until 8 o'clock at night. They're, just, they're, they're everywhere, either going up to the community, going into train sitting in there having a drink before they train with one of the full-time coaches here. It just, there's so, there's so many of them, and obviously um, they've got that right. It's just, it is, um, it's alive, it's, it's real alive with players, and I love, I love that bit about the club. It's something that the club has nurtured, it's something that the club have got right, and, um, and obviously, you know, the young players in the certainly in the local community clearly love coming here. Yeah, absolutely. And just in terms of Ricky Holmes, I mean, is he due to train today? Is he going to train tomorrow? Is it, is it yeah, no, he, it, we, we think he's okay. He's going to have uh, that group that played 90 minutes will have a light session, and then there's another group that didn't play so much money, one or two that I did protect, yeah. um, that will um, have uh, a stronger session this morning. But Ricky should be all right. He's been checked over. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's going to be put. I think it'd be more bruising than anything else. So. Yeah. Also, it was good to see Patrick Bauer uh, get a few minutes last week. Uh, yes. When he's fully fit, when he's ready for kind of selection, that'd be a real boost for you, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Massively, massively. Um, he played uh, 60, 70 minutes on Tuesday, of which I watched a half of that before I went over to um, Cheltenham. So him, yeah, yeah, no, he it was um, very comfortable for him. Um, probably needed stretching more than that, yeah. to be honest. But um, look, yeah, I think he's um, he's getting himself in contention for at least now yeah. the, the the eighteen. Yeah. So he's very close to that now. We haven't seen George uh, Tixera for a couple of weeks. I think that or not. Uh, yeah. Is yes. He kind of ha hamstring. Yeah. Yeah. He's doing. He's he's running now. He's just started yeah. his running outside. Yeah. I mean, there's been a bit of speculation over him as well. It's, it's tough to say at this stage. Obviously, a lot can happen. Uh, but is, is he one you want to kind of keep hold of if you can? Obviously, it's not um, in your control. But. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, with 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 Tex, we just we need, just need to get him right at the minutes for for him to be. Um, Pushing, pushing for a slot again. To be fair, in the team, but um, yeah, as I say, it, it's been a problem. Not just Tex. Uh, you've got Harry that you probably move on to next. It's, it's been a problem at centre back. We've had to be patient, and that, that's that, that's a, that's another reason why Esri's had his kind of opportunity as well. Really, is because we've been short, and rather than you know just go out and and and, and find another one, we've 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 uh, worked with Esri so. Um, and of course we've got Piercy in as, as well now, which is what we needed yeah. um, because of his qualities and his leadership. So no, no, we, we, we quite, we're quite happy with that. Um, we've got to be patient. At, that's what I'm trying to say with those two or three that are still not being available yeah. to me. You mentioned earlier that you knew pretty close, you, you'd hope, to a couple of signings. Uh, are you yeah. able to kind of hint to what positions they might be in? I mean, there's, there's been... A lot of reports that Josh McGuinness. Yeah, well, that. well, well. I'll give you the positions. One's 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 a striker and one's a, a midfield, a wide midfield. Well, no, no, That's no, all you're having. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Callum, obviously, Callum Harriet. Uh, he's obviously gone to uh, yes. Reading. Uh, he kind of suggested to the Reading website that he kind of wanted. He felt this was the right time. Uh, you kind of accepted that, I guess. You can't you can't keep players here that kind of. The, the, 
he, he, well, he had been here a long time, and um, and he'd been a good, good um, prospect, good servant to the football club. Um, this was an opportunity for him. I suspect he was. He, look, he was always going about the about the level of compensation we were going to get for losing his services. Really, if he was going to go, um, and we turned down. We turned down, uh, not from, well, we turned down initial bids from Reading, but we turned down bids from uh, other clubs as well for, for Callum's services. So we weren't just going to let him go.